This Christmas, shopping online, you'll have noticed how many more companies are offering buy now, pay later in three interest-free monthly instalments from lenders including Klarna, Clearpay, Layby and Afterpay. Now, because this credit is interest-free, it isn't covered by credit regulations, so there are no rigorous credit checks. But you still have to pay what you owe, and if you don't, you will be chased by debt collectors. Research this month suggests that half of under-25s who buy on credit use these buy-now-pay-later schemes, and a third of them struggle to repay. People like Sophie, who's 26 and from West Sussex. I was made redundant in April 2019, and that was when I realised I was kind of using buy-now-pay-later schemes as a tool to manage the situation, which actually wasn't managing the situation. It sounds really silly, but that feeling of getting a parcel, wearing something new that makes you feel good. At the time, I was buying clothes, so it was very easy just to spend £50 here and there, particularly Klarna's marketing. I fell for it, basically, the try before you buy. I thought, oh, that's great. I can buy a couple of dresses, try them on at home. But then when they're in your home, it's much easier to keep more than one of those items. It was much easier to sign up to Klarna than it is a credit card. It didn't even feel like it was credit at the time, but it was very easy to miss those payments because a lot of the Klarna emails and the reminders were slipping into my junk email. I received a debt letter. It was absolutely awful. I was thinking, oh my God, am I going to go to prison? Am I going to go to court here? And that was when I realised that I was out of control and this had just gone a step too far I had to kind of confess the state that I'd got myself into and I had to tell my boyfriend about it at the time and we had to come up with a plan of how to pay it off how I could pay off my own debt and also still afford to pay my usual bills. That was Sophie. Well, Alice Tapper has been campaigning for better regulation of buy now, pay later schemes. She's the founder of Go Fund Yourself. It teaches young people about personal finance. Alice, Sophie isn't good with money or debt. How typical is that? Well, unfortunately, um, Sophie's story is a worryingly familiar one. Um, since launching the campaign back in June, I've encountered hundreds of very similar stories which really echo echo all of those themes and particularly I think it's important to highlight that the ease at which consumers use these products and for anyone that's not ever used buy now pay later um, you know this isn't like applying for a credit card where you know there's lots of boxes to tick and things to sign and you have to wait uh, for approval these are integrated into the online shopping experience at just a click of the button you just pop in your email address no risk wording on impulse and I think that's that's the really concerning thing here. Well Klarna told us they do an eligibility assessment each time you buy and that if someone is unable to make a payment they're stopped from using the service again and they also say that their marketing is responsible and that last year they introduced Klarna Sense which encourages customers to think carefully before they buy. Sophie has a problem with debt but aren't these useful services for most people who can control their spending? So absolutely, I'm not, I'm not campaigning for these products to be banned completely or anything like that. It's simply saying that, that we need better regulation because at the moment what we're seeing is some consumers, particularly those that are younger and more vulnerable, particularly young women is, is something that I've noticed just from my kind of anecdotal evidence, are getting into real financial difficulty. And, and I think there's a risk that without action, we see another crisis akin to that of the payday loan scandal that we saw a while ago where the tech companies which is which is ultimately what the likes of Klarna are outpace regulation and and you know at the expense of the young and vulnerable consumers. Well MPs are debating regulation of these new schemes today and the Financial Conduct Authority is going to publish a review of buy now pay later that's uh, soon. Klarna says it would welcome better regulation of the market. What do you think needs to happen? So I think firstly, you know, regulation is a big one. I think also, I mean, I've 
come on your programme before and I, and I want to just highlight that it's not all bad. There has been some progress. So since, since I last came on, retailers have got involved. So ASOS signed up to the campaign's best practice, which is a great step. Um, the Financial Conduct Authority also launched the Woolard Review. I hope the results of which will be, will be published in due course. And obviously there's this debate in Parliament today and we need to see kind of MPs really backing that and, and voting um, for this new clause to the Financial Services Bill. But to just to kind of what that means in practice is to see better information being given to consumers because I can imagine some of your listeners are probably thinking well hold on a second you know don't people need to just sort of take personal responsibility but it's because these products are unregulated that consumers aren't being given all the information they need throughout the customer journey to make good financial choices just as you would with something like a credit card that's regulated um, so that's what we need to see we need to give consumers the information they need so that they can understand you know the perils of bad financial choices and they stand a good chance of making you know good financial decisions do you think that this kind of credit ought to be denied to someone like sophie who already by the sound of it had a lot of problem debt yeah i think we need to see you know better credit reporting the the credit the credit uh, score damage question is is a really interesting one because on the one hand some of these providers might say that you know oh we don't you know we don't damage your credit score and and people think yay you know harmless products what you know what what damage can be done but i think the risk is that credit reporting is actually is actually a really important communication mechanism between lenders so if the likes of Klarna don't report to a credit reference agency then that means that another buy now pay later provider might not be aware of the financial difficulty that that someone else is in and they might go on to lend to them and i think that's what sophie highlighted that actually you can accrue debt across multiple buy now pay later providers you might also have credit card debt on top of that and it's just creating a kind of a perfect storm that that is only going to lead to kind of serious financial problems alice tapper from go fund yourself thank you very much 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 go fund yourself 